Hi, y'all. Hi, y'all. Welcome to uh, Stampin' on the Farm. I'm Sherry, and this is... Reese. This is my granddaughter, Reese, and she's spending the day with me today. Today is election day, and um, she's off school, so we went and voted. Yes, we did. Well, today, uh, she's going to be here in my, in my craft room, helping me make a card. And this is the card that we are going to be making. Yes. Using the new, uh, oh, and this is the inside. I'll show the inside. There you go. And we're using the new uh, Snowflake Showcase that is available as of November 1st to the end of November while supplies last. Uh, and it has um, the Snow is Glistening stamp set there. And Happiness Surround, so you can use it other times besides the holidays this awesome thinlets it's like a snowflake thing yeah different snowflake snowflakes thing. and the die set the thinlets there's 20 on here and uh we will not be using any of those today and then there's this paper that's kind of uh it's white velvet sheets um and then also the elements the snowflake trinkets which is you want to show them the snowflake trinket that's on the top of the tree there reese yeah this one Right there. Right. Okay. And I'm glad I put it on there because yes. when we were filming, not when we were filming, but we were getting ready, I'm like, ooh, look at these cool snowflakes. And we are like, I'm like, Gigi, I call her Gigi. And um, we were like, what if we could put it on the top of the tree? And she's like, yeah, that could be a great idea. But we had like two different kinds and I just picked out a cool one, but we'll show you the other one. Right. We'll after get up, we start getting it. When we start doing the card. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to turn the camera around and start making the card. We are. Now this is the card we're going to be making, like we like uh, Reese showed you all ago. And let's get started. I'm going to set this off to the side. What we'll need to do this card is a crumb cake uh, cardstock base, and this is uh, eight and a half by five and a half, and we scored it at four and a quarter. And then for I'll show you this for our uh, outer piece here. We have a piece of Early Espresso cardstock that's five by three and three quarters, and a piece of Crumb Cake cardstock that is four and seven eighths by three and five eighths. And we'll layer like that. Then for the inside, we uh, I'll show you the inside here. We need a piece of Early Espresso cardstock that is five and a quarter by four. And very vanilla that is five by three and three quarters that's for the inside then we need a piece of scrap Earl espresso and a scrap piece of crumb cake all right now first thing we're going to do on our card base is we're going to emboss it if this swirls and curls and this is in our holiday catalog this is in our holiday catalog, and we're going to just... Is that from the store, the big, big shop? Yes, that's that machine over there that we're going to put this in the, in the big shop machine. And, all right, now this has got a little line that you can line it. If you can see, notice that that line right there is how you line up the bottom of your cardstock. And we're going to line it up on the edge of the crease here. And I'm going to go and run it. Let me make it this a little straighter here. Run it through the, uh, the Big Shot machine. And I'll be right back. Okay. Now this was the sandwich that we used on the Big Shot. I had the Big Shot platform, acrylic plate, then I had um, the embossing folder with my crumb cake cardstock in there, and then another acrylic cake plate on top. And there Pretty. is the front of our card base. All right, let's set this over the side. Yes, you can. You want to run that along the edge there? Mm -hmm. What can you see? There you go. Crease it down. Burnish it. Very, very good. All right, now I'm going to set this over to the side. Now we're going to get out 
this piece of crumb cake. Okay, now we're going to get the embossing buddy out because we're going to be embossing uh, on here and I want to get this static and my greasy fingerprints all off of it. So the embossing powder will stick just to the Versamark. Now we're going to be using this Christmas tree stamp right here and ink it up with Versamark. Get good and juicy. Versamark is a sticky ink that the embossing powder will stick to. Okay. Now since this is a photopolymer stamp, we need to use our piercing mat to give it a little bit of cushion. Right? Sit right in the middle. Correct. Hold it down, let that Versamark ink soak in. There we go. Perfect. Nice and rich. Now we're going to go ahead and put some powder on. True. Some embossing powder. Yep. Thank you, Reese. And it's got a little card in here. We didn't know where it was because we moved everything for the video. We didn't know where we put it. And we found it, didn't we? Yep. It was right on our desk. On All our right. Laptop. All right, there you go. There's that. All right, because now we're going to uh, stamp these little snowflakes all over in the verse mark as well. Okay. Just randomly stamp these around. They're so cute, too. Yes, they are. Kind of turn the angle of your, of your um, stamp. Yeah, you can place them up anywhere you want. That's right. You can do whatever design you want. It's just how you want it. Okay. I think I need some up here at this top. Pretty snowflakes falling everywhere. It's pretty. Yes, it is pretty. Wait till we emboss it with the I white know. powder. I know. I used to do All a right. Christmas tree and like little snowflakes falling and stuff. And now we'll get our embossing powder back. Here, I'll put the lid. Thank you so much. And then we're going to pour some of the white embossing powder. Oops. All over our snowflakes. I hope you spilled it a little bit. Uh, yeah, we'll clean that up. That's why we have this um, sheet down. Here. Yeah. All right. There we go. We got them all covered. Can we shut it? Yes, please. All right. Now, I'm going to get my embossing tool out, my heat gun, my heat tool. And I'm going to turn this on. This gun has got two settings. I'm going to put on number two. Just. I don't know how to close it. That's fine. All right, we'll turn it on, get a little bit hot. And. I'll just leave it like that. And then I'm going to heat this up, and I'll be right back. And I'll try to shut this. <laughs> Okay, I've got this all heat embossed in the pretty white. And now we're going to take a crumb cake ink and a sponge dauber. Got it? Yep. This one right here. That one. Yep, this one right here. Okay. Thank you. And we're going to take this and we're going to dab it into our crumb cake. Sure. And we're going to go all over where I did the uh, white embossing powder. Highlight it up some, just go all the way around the edges. Okay, and just sponge that on. Okay. Now, after we got that on there, okay, Reese, can you hand me the paper towel, please? Thank you. And then just kind of wipe over the top of the of the uh, where the white embossing is, and get some of that ink off of there. There we go. All right, let's close up our crumb cake here right now. Now we're gonna get our early espresso out, and we're gonna stamp. The little bottom of the 
the tree, tree. the tree. Branch. Yep. Branch. There. And early espresso. Stump. <laughs> the stump. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I need my. Since it's photo polymer, we need to do it on a piercing mat. A little bit of foam there, so the impression will be better. There we go. All right, and while we have this uh, crumb cake out, get out our scrap pieces, crumb cake ink. Let's get out our scrap piece of crumb cake start cardstock, and we're going to stamp the word joy from the stamp set. on there for a couple of seconds so the ink will soak in very good we close up this real espresso and then we're going to take our and make sure you don't want to smudge one, it what yes that's right our one and a quarter you don't twist our one and a quarter it. inch um, circle punch turn it over and punch out Joey, and then out of our early espresso uh, cardstock, we're going to use the one and a half inch circle punch and punch out a circle. All right, and these will be. I'm going to go ahead and hear these together using the the liquid glue. on here. Line it up. Kind of center it in there. Whoop. There we go. Good thing about that glue is wiggle room on there. Got some wiggle. Yeah. Wiggle room. Okay. Lay that off to the side. Okay. I think we're going good so far. Now we're going to let's lay this over here out of our way. Well, if you hear this to our early espresso layer, our mat, that, using our glue. He's about to pick it up for you. Oh, sorry. All right, got some glue on there. Don't do a whole, whole lot, because it can squish out, but this is the good stuff here. It hears it really good, and like I said, gives you wiggle room to get it all lined up where you want. Too much or like squirt out. Yeah, that's right. I remember when I was at art class and I did that and it like squirted out. I'm like, <laughs> all right. And I just kind of turn it over and press. We can we can make a mess, can't we? Yeah. There we go. There's that. And throw it onto the ground. Before I start putting that on, let's stamp our inside and uh, inside of our card with the uh, sentiment from the stamp set. Merry Christmas to you and peace on earth to all the world. And Great call. Here. And I got that stamped in early espresso. There we go. I'll need my, can I have that piercing mat there, please, yeah, please? One. Yep. Because it's, I'm gonna put it under there. Thank you so much. Make sure you get, don't get your joy. And kind of put it right. I'm gonna get a little bit more ink on there. Mm -hmm. All right. Hold it for a few seconds to let that ink soak in. Perfect. 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 Yay! I like it when it turns out okay. Now we're going to stamp some of the uh, snowflakes and crumb cake around the card. And, all right, so we've got one of the snowflakes. Oh, oh, I need to get a little wipe here. All right, I'm going to stamp this in crumb cake. Right up here in the corner. There we 
to go. And now we need a thank you, Grace. We got another. Let's get this. Okay. We'll stamp this right here. And then we need one more snowflake, please. Thank you so much. I haven't cleaned them yet. Thank you, though. All right, and we'll stamp this one right down here. Okay, good. All right, let's close up our crumb cake ink. All right, and we'll adhere it to uh, the Early Express little car uh, layer here with our glue. go. I'll go ahead and put it on the inside of our card. Our base. How's that sound? Okay. I'll have to use it here again in just a second, okay? Okay. Alright, open it up and put it on the inside. You're a good assistant, Gracie. There we I go. Always you with your cards there. Yeah, you do. All right, and I kind of turn it over and rub it this way and get the get the glue to it here there. And now we are ready to glue this piece and put here on the front of our card. Thank you so much. Now I got to put a little bit more on here because sometimes it has a hard time with this really deep impressions of this getting that this is to adhere on here. Yeah, the um, design. Uh huh. All right. Got to get it centered up where you want. Top to bottom, left to right. And you still have to like that or something. And turn it over and just rub it a little bit. Good deal. Now, our Joey, I'm going to attach with Stampin' Dimensionals. Pop it up a little. Pop, pop. We like to pop, don't we? Yeah. Reese. All right, put one here. It's cooler. Yep, put one there. Okay. Can you get that one off for me? Thank you so much. He's nailed. All right, and we're going to lay this right about right here. Pop it up. How's that look, Reese? Perfect. All Push right. It down a little bit. There we go. And then we still have. Now we got to put. All right. Now you want to show, put right here and show them the two different styles of snowflake in, uh, elements yeah. we have in there. There's two different ones. So we have this one. Let's see if they can see it. Yeah, they can see. Fine. You turn that over like that. There's that style that and then there's a different one. That one. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. There's two different styles and they're really, they're really flat. So it wouldn't take up a lot of, you know doesn't make a lot of bulk when you want to mail your card. So which one do you want to use? We're going to use a glue dot, which is yeah. that right there. The glue dot. Which one do you want to put on the card? Um, since we use the, this one, we'll use this one. Since we use that one? Yeah. You want to do the other one? Yeah. Let's use this one. Okay. Thank you. And then use the glue dot. And then we're going to get a glue dot and get it on the back of the, attach it here to the back of the snowflake, the little trinket here. And we'll put it here at the top of our tree. How's that look, Grace? Good. All right, now we're going and to be... I have them right here. Okay, thank you. This is the Frosted and Clear Epoxy Droplets. Use it, this one. The and teeny ones. Okay. And then we're going to use the frosted ones. And mm -hmm. we're going to use my this little pick here to pick it up and put them on the center Can of... This one? Nope, just this one's fine. A little pick tool here, and I'm going to put them on the center of the little snowflakes that's on here. Kind of give it a little more dimension and prettiness. Don't you think? Mm -hmm. And then put one right there. I was thinking about right there. What do you yeah, think about that right there? Is that okay? And let's do it right here. Oops. They're so tiny. Yes, they are. Well, can you get it? Uh, I think I got it. Do you want to put one right here for me? Yeah. 
Right here? Yeah, I'll let you put that on. Right on that one. Here? Yeah. In the center. Move it over in the center a little bit. Can you get it? Yeah. There you go. Perfect. All right. All right, everybody. They look similar. Yep, here's our two cards. Similar. What do y'all think? What do you think, Reese? I like them. You like it? Yep. All right, so these you can use like I can make using mm -hmm. the uh, Snow is Glistening um, stamp set that's available through the month of November while supplies last. And then you have your pads. Yeah, and all this, all this um, products you can purchase at my online store. Um, you can go to Stampin' on the, Stampin on the Farm. Uh, let me show you that. You can go to my uh, website, stampinonthefarm.com, and you, and you can order online there and any of these products. If, and if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would really, really appreciate your business. Mm -hmm. Wait, Reese. All right. Well, thanks again for joining us down on the farm. And until next time. We'll Happy, see you later. We'll see you later. <laughs> Happy stamping. Bye.